Guys, I come to you today wearing these glasses that do nothing except for hopefully make me look smarter to tell you Vox is erasing history. It's worse. Vox is erasing history during a global pandemic. Bruh. On January 31st, 2020, Vox wrote, published, and tweeted an article that said 11 questions about the coronavirus outbreak answered. Oh, thank you. How, how thoughtful. The outbreak. <laughs> like it's a bed bug infestation. The outbreak. Don't worry about it. What are the questions the public wanted to know? Is this going to be a deadly pandemic? No. One word, no. Oh, okay. Good. Very reassuring. We'll meet again. Don't bother. That's fine. Until three days ago when Vox deleted that tweet and made me, made me think, well, let me go take a look at the article. Maybe they changed the article. And they have changed the article. The article now reads, nine questions about the coronavirus pandemic answered. That's funny. That's interesting. I swear before you called it an outbreak and you said, is this a pandemic? No. Now your article reads nine questions about the coronavirus pandemic in the headline. The headline now calls it a pandemic. It's a pretty big, pretty big leap, Fox. Pretty big leap. I gotta put on my, I gotta put back on my intellectual glasses. Bruh. I've been in the news business so long that I'm like a minor wizard. The news's magical spells have no power over me. I have no trust in most news organizations' integrity. I recognize their tricks and I recognize, mm, maybe it's worth taking a little look in the internet time machine to see what they've changed. What did they actually write in the, in the initial thing? Original question Vox answered. Does the World Health Organization's declaration that the coronavirus is a global health emergency mean this is going to become a deadly pandemic? And in January, Vox wrote, the WHO's declaration does not mean we are facing a deadly pandemic. Number six, what does it say now? The sixth question now reads on the article, is this a deadly pandemic? The World Health Organization has officially declared the outbreak a pandemic. Not only have you changed the answers, you've changed the questions. These are entirely two different pieces of reporting from two different time periods. They should not be the same article. Why are you running? Why are you running? I don't mind if you get it wrong. I don't think most people mind if news reports get things wrong at the time. That's fine. Be like the New York Times. Be a paper of record. A paper of record still has value. It has value to people in the future that want to look back and understand the mistakes of the past so we can learn from them. That's the role of historians. I studied history. I was trained as a historian in college. And many of my colleagues who got PhDs, what they do is they try to learn about the mistakes from the past so they're not repeated in the future. And the way historians do that is they go back and find primary sources, primary sources like newspapers, to try to understand how the mainstream media, how the elites, how the public thought and felt about coronavirus before it really struck. And the primary source Instead of it reading, which is the truth, which was reported at the time, that it was reported as an outbreak, that the public thought it was an outbreak, that mainstream media told the public it's not going to be a pandemic. Instead, they will find this is the primary source, which is not true. This is not the original reporting. When historians go back and read nine questions about the coronavirus pandemic, they will have never known that what was told to the public, what the mainstream media reported, was something entirely different. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That is a disservice to future generations of journalists so that they can learn how to better report. It's a disservice to historians who can write books and educate the public, and it does a disservice to your audience for being so dishonest. Vox is Latin, your, your news company's name is, is Latin for voice. Fox, Latin for voice. What is the Latin word for liar? Mendex. 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 These are two different reports. Declare them as such. You wrote, published, and tweeted this article. Stand by your reporting, Vox. And then if you want, in the future, write a follow-up. Say, we got it wrong. Here's a new article on the current reporting of how we understand the situation now. It's just stunning, the level of... of, of. And I would love to know Lauren Williams, editor-in-chief of Vox, why is this going to be a deadly pandemic? No. 
to the exact same article where you say it's not going to be a deadly pandemic to change the headline to nine questions about the coronavirus pandemic. Why? Why you feel this is okay? I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Curious to see what your thoughts or comments are. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. We break down, discuss, deconstruct the news, the media, try to understand how it thinks, how it operates, and occasionally how it deceives you. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.